six days till Christmas. Oh my gosh. Huh? Six, in six days. I'm so pumped. So our family has a lot and lot a lot of traditions <laughs> we have quite a few. for Christmas. So between Christmas and Christmas Eve and just the build up of Christmas, like all of winter break, we do a lot of things that we do every single year. And there are little fun traditions that everyone looks forward to for Christmas. I'm sure you guys have a lot. So we're going to be showing you what our favorite traditions are. Our very first tradition that like starts off the Christmas season is we go ice skating. And this is like a VIP ice skating thing that my dad's company or someone he works with puts on. <laughs> And it's really exciting and really fun. I actually vlogged it so you can check that vlog out. It'll be linked below. But yeah, the VIP ice skating is always so fun. They have amazing food. And it's just a great time because it's always so cold and ice skating is just really fun. Our next tradition is usually around this time we get tickets to go see the Nutcracker Ballet in the Houston Ballet, which is just so amazing. And as y'all know, I'm a dancer. But even before I was a dancer, that's when I would go and we would always buy a Nutcracker love the show. Yeah, and you get to like dress up all fancy and it's so fun. The next thing is we always have a family movie night where we watch Elf, basically. I would say that we watch other movies, but we really don't. A tradition that I have with my dad is that I go to the Houston Galleria and I do shopping, Christmas shopping for all my family and I've been doing this probably for like 12, Forever. 11 or 12 years, so it's, it's way in there and yeah. within that I go ice skating, we go to the same chocolate stores, we yeah, it's just really fun. We just go shopping and stuff. And get us cute presents. Yes, exactly. <laughs> this is a tradition that we just started. Is Lily and my other sister, Laura, are in a dance show. And don't forget we need to hang the missile. under the mini trees and then we go around the rooms before we open the big gifts and we give each other our sibling gifts and it's really fun because we get to see each other's room and like this cute little tree and it's just a really really fun tradition that's one of my favorites in the realm of decorating we have a few little mini traditions so my dad's dad our grandpa yeah he gave us these little santas and they're not just any typical Santas, they're like international Santas. Sweden or Norway or Africa, like what they depict Santa as. So it's all these different cultural Santas, which is super cool to yeah. look at. And when we were kids, we used to like trade them. I don't know yeah. why. Yeah, we, we would play a game and we'd be like, where's this one from? And then yeah, we'd like quiz like, each other. And then another tradition inside that, that I kind of touched on earlier is the Nutcrackers that we have. We buy them every year at the Nutcracker <laughs> Ballet. And we have so many right now because each girl buys one, and so you know it's like three yeah, it's every like, year. Yeah. So uh, we have a really big collection of super sparkly, festive nutcrackers, which I love. And also, we have stockings that my grandma made whenever we were born. Every kid got a new stocking. Of course, they are beat up because it's been 15 years of mine. Yeah. <laughs> 16. Exactly. And, yeah, it's really fun. But they're super cute, and I feel like a lot of you guys probably have something like that too. They're really, really adorable. Mine has like this little mouse on it and like a jingle bell. <laughs> yeah, mine has this like embroidered Christmas wreath and like a little bell. It's super cute. And then the last like thing, what we do for presents is we don't just wrap them individually oh, yeah. oh, and then no. put, put a, like a name on it because that would just take too much work. So Especially with like six kids. Yes, yeah, so, especially with six of us. So what we do when we go Christmas decoration shopping, each kid picks out their own style or color of wrapping paper and we use that same wrapping paper to 
just wrap all their presents. So it's so much easier because yeah. everybody knows who's is who and they don't get mixed up. And I don't know, it just it creates it's cool. so and it much makes, more order. It makes the tree look really good too because there's like a bunch of different colors. And like I'll be like, oh, mine is the one with reindeers on it. And then I know where all my gifts are and it's just super cool. The next tradition is every Christmas Eve night we go to my neighbor's house because we're really close with our neighbors. We did this little pageant with spoons. <laughs> so basically we have these spoons and we created them when we were like five or something. <clears throat> I've <I'm> had <laughs> And um, they're little spoons with like little paper people on them, and we act out the nat nativity, nativity scene. It's, so it's like, well, it's the Christ story because we're Christians and yeah. we do the Christmas. So it's basically like a puppet show, but they're like plastic spoons, and we like get under chairs. We used to fit perfectly, and now you can like see your backs like through the chair. So it's just really fun. It's kind of we're ridiculous gonna like, now. We're gonna be like thirty and be like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every year we have it's Matthew so read Christ story out to us from this little picture book that yeah. he has. And then the rest of us, there's like a 17 year old, <laughs> two 15 year olds, a 13 year old, Annie, Max, and Mark Adam. Yeah. And we're all squished behind these two little chairs <laughs> with a sheet over it. It's ridiculous <laughs> sheet. It's so ghetto, but it is so much fun. But before we head over to their house, my dad cooks us a huge Christmas Eve dinner with like some chicken and we have like sparkling uh, cider. Cider, yeah. And it's super cool. So we have like this giant, this really fancy dinner. Which so comment down below <coughs> what Christmas traditions y'all have. Y'all, I just said y'all. I said y'all. Comment down below what Christmas traditions you and your family have, because we would love to hear that, and because we could get even new ideas for more Christmas traditions. More Christmas traditions equals more joy. Thank you guys so much for watching, and Girl Talk will see you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye.